This is me, putting my bike on my old bike rack. I always hated using it, it takes so long and isn't the greatest way to mount a bike. But I didn't want to get a hitch mounted platform rack and bust my shins on it every time I needed to access the trunk, which is pretty often. I also didn't want to have to load the bikes up onto my roof every time, so this seemed like the best compromise. But then, the other day, I had a revelation. After watching some pros unloading their bikes from their sprinter vans on YouTube, I thought, man, I wish I had a van I could put my bikes in. That's so legit. Then I realized, wait a minute, I put my bikes inside my CRV all the time. The bike my girlfriend is currently riding has a weird frame and doesn't fit on my universal tire mounted rack, so I throw it in the back since I already took out one of my back seats to make more room for sleeping or other activities. So then I realized if I took the front wheels off, I could probably fit two bikes in there standing up. So as soon as I could, I got both bikes in there in position to make sure my idea would work. Sure enough, it was perfect. So I just had to figure out the best way to secure them in there. I knew there were mounts already out there for this purpose. People typically put them in their truck beds or in the aforementioned sprinter vans. So I did some research and found out that I would be looking at about $40 a piece for these glorified pieces of metal with a hole in it. So then I did what I always do when I feel like something could be done cheaper. I jumped on YouTube and looked for a DIY video where someone as cheap as I am already went through the same process. So I found a great video relatively quickly. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the parts I use for the mount because you can check out the video that I used. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. The first thing I did was measure the 2x6 that would lay across the back. I thought I would have to make some fancy cuts to get it to sit right, but the layout in the cargo area of the CRV ended up perfectly accommodating the 2x6 with straight edges. After getting the board placed, I installed the mount to the bike's front axle to figure out where I needed to install it on the board. Then I used a drill to install it with some wood screws. It was shortly after this that I realized I had a problem. I didn't realize that my other bike, the one my girlfriend is currently using, has a 20mm axle instead of the standard 15mm. Most mid to high end bikes nowadays run a 15 by 110 millimeter front axle. However, this bike has a Fox 36 fork, which is considered a downhill style fork. It's a bit beefier than what you'll see on most enduro style bikes like mine. It also has a 100 millimeter width because it is a bit older and predates the boost spacing, which is the 110 millimeter width that is pretty standard now. So anyway, I got my bike mounted and had to go back to the store to get some different fittings for the other bike. I wanted to keep the same base because I will swap it out in a few weeks when my girlfriend's new bike comes in, which also has the 15 by 110 axle. So I used an adapter and went up a size in the pipe fittings. The next problem I ran into was that that size fitting was still too small by barely a millimeter. So instead of going up another size and having it very loose, I opted to increase the inner diameter of the plastic fittings. Finding drill bits this large was also difficult, so I ended up using a drill bit at first to make it just big enough to get a 7 8 inch spade bit in there which was the perfect size.
This was not easy, but it worked out in the end. I then used a knife to shave off some of the excess length, which was pretty janky after drilling anyway. It worked out to be the perfect width since it had a slightly shorter axle anyway. So after getting all that squared away, I was finally able to install the second mount. I didn't want to leave it bare, so I gave it a quick coat of paint with a spray can. I didn't want to remove the mounts, so I masked them off with some tape and tin foil. And yeah, I don't really recommend using tin foil, but it was the first thing I was able to grab, and I was just ready for this to be done. So here are a few shots of everything mounted up and ready to go. I'm really happy with the way this setup came out. I'm never going to go back to using a rack if I can help it. Let me know what you think of the setup and if you have done or would like to do something similar. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with new videos, I'll see you next time.